Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chaos TV and we are live 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 for Team Solo Mid up against SK Gaming and Vince, I'm so so excited, I am actually stuck on the lobby screen, okay now I'm actually in the game, um, I was just lagging for a second there, but that is, are we going to see any level 1 team fights? That is the question, SK circulating around that bush, entering the river there and possibly maybe going for a Wraiths invade, although Ash is just going to go defend the bottom ramp towards river as well so i don't think there's going to be any level one fights or invades i think both teams are just going to stay around yeah it's just going to be down to if one of those players does get caught out we have seen this a few times then you haven't seen any kind of colossal 5v5 team fights at level one but we have from time to time seen the player the odd player or two getting caught out there for the first blood question is are we going to see that here as it uh, looks like the entirety of sk are just going to kind of lurk around that river not really going to commit to anything as of yet and it looks like it's pretty much just going to go back to that farming fest that we had the entirety of last night in the end, Enzi. Very, very heavily farm-based was last night's action. Absolutely. Panda and Nif are actually going for this invade. They were looking to see if TSM, KX and Nook Special were on the golems. You know, trying to get them golems was going to try and interrupt, but they will not be doing that. Oriana going to be pulling that red buff now. Nook Special going to help out as well for odd ones so that red buff is going to go on towards odd one straight away Mundo is going to start on that blue buff is going to advance two wolves or maybe even when well, he actually started wolves sorry so he's just going to cross now as Ocelot will be facing off against JY Park in mid if you don't know Reginald is quickly just subbing out I think he just uh, got his wisdom teeth pulled out and he's still actually at his house at the moment he's not in the TSM gaming house so they have got Park in for this game but uh, the question is, how is he going to, you know, play with TSM? Is he going to be good? Is he going to fit into the team? I mean, I don't think he's played with them before. Um, I think he might have played with Dyrus once or twice. But, uh, yeah, it's just going to be interesting to see, I guess. Yeah, it was Bergson last time, and Bergson did a brilliant job. I think we're both kind of questioning, will this work out or not? Did just fine. Depends on whether JY Park can do exactly the same here, but early signs aren't too bad, really. Hasn't gone down early, and he is keeping himself in contention. Uh, at top, I just saw there as Bass switched over that Jax was getting kind of harassed down from Dyrus. I mean, Olaf is one of those real terrors at top ends against the melee kind of champions. Because of his reckless swing, his third ability does true damage, and if you're very, very close to Olaf, he can consistently spam that, and it's going to start to really lay down the pain after a few minutes. Absolutely, and actually Odd One did go into the opposition jungle there, and Odd One is going to go on towards Mundo. Mundo has popped that exhaust, and the cleaver as well, going to slow down Odd One now, as he will chase down Mundo, as Ari will come to the rescue as well, but the flash has been popped. First blood from Odd One, on towards Mundo in that jungle. Great, great stuff. Ari, which is obviously Ocelot, did try and come for the help, but it was too, too late. Odd One only burnt his flash right there, and he is going to get a first blood, no uh, no problem whatsoever. And Mundo obviously losing both his buffs, he did get that red and the blue, and nice, nice stuff as uh, Kevin is going to go on towards Dyrus now at that top lane. I think they're just going to go under a bit of harass, but uh, you know, the other games we've seen Kevin and uh, Dyrus go out on top is constant harass on each other, and it's just close, close battles all the time with Kevin against Dyrus. It's one of the, just one of them face-offs at top lane that you just want to see every single game. Yeah, it's going to be very, very even, and I think the ganking is definitely going to separate those two at top. I mean, Jax has a very nice escape ability, of course, with his leap strike, and, and of course, uh, Olaf is incredibly good at escape as well. Look, they're going to have some action at top, though, Enzi. Yeah, literally was too quick to even interrupt you there. I mean, Nocturne came in for the uh, redeem kill as uh, Dyrus did go down there. The Ignite was popped uh, from Jax there at the top lane, and that would be a kill, uh, you know, both in favor. So, you know, Odd One is going to be rocking that 2-0 and zero scoreline right now. Dyrus is going to be 0-1, to one, but Jax did die as well. They're going to be back to their lanes relatively the same time. Odd One just keeping off this minion farm to wait for Dyrus to come down, unless he just does back away. Yet, yeah, he is just going to back away as Dyrus is on his way back, so so he should be able to get this farm, no problem whatsoever. Nice job from Odd One already as bot lane. Nif and Candy Panda are extremely pushed right now against the likes of Chaos and X Special. And uh, they are doing a very, very good job. Mid, Ari looks to have gone back. What did she buy? She did just buy that Doran's Ring straight off the bat. And a Sight Ward as well to see if there's any incoming ganks from the likes of Odd One. Odd One now, he is on 2 and 0. He's going to be very very strong in this early game as well he's going to wait until that level six his ganks are going to be tremendous and can really help his team as Jax is going to go and put that wall down at top lane 
And uh, he is just going to go back towards the lane now, back towards Dyrex, who he did just kill a few, uh, I think a minute or two ago, but uh, Dead Around is going to come towards top lane, maybe going to try and pull a gank off on Dyrus here. Dyrus has to be very careful as Dead is in that bush, and he's just waiting for the right time as the Cleaver does come out uh, from Dyrus. But I did think he just saw him there come out the bush, so there's not going to be any ganks. Dyrus hasn't got the ward down yet, so uh, they obviously know that. And uh, he will just back away back to his own jungle. But, you know, two kills to one. Odd one with both kills. 40 SM at the moment. And uh, Jax, which is obviously Kevin at top lane, has a kill as well. But instead of shifting over, Mundo has come up top again as Dyrus has pushed up even heavier. Has to be very careful. He hasn't got a ward as well. I'm not sure what he's really doing here. Burning Agony has been popped Cleaver as well. But the Ghost has been popped on Dyrus. He's got to be able to get away. Although the Cleaver did land... On towards Dyrus there, but he is just going to recall. But you know, has to be a bit more careful there. Didn't have a ward down, but he is going to go back. Has burnt that ghost now as well, so uh, that will not be in his favour. Indeed, and a couple of pretty big creep scores coming out here. You got Ash on 51 and Urgot on 31. So that bot lane is definitely looking good for Candy Panda and SK right now. Taking the lead, really zoning out the bot lane as Urgot had to go back and uh, try his best to buy up a couple more items. Has taken that second Doran's Blade, the boots, and also has picked himself up some health pots. So that bot lane, early signs looking very good. And you can see that bot tower very, very low wow. health as well. And uh, top lane, another gang coming off here. Dyrus did go in that bush, trying to ward there. Exhaust has been popped. Dyrus could fall once again. Cleaver did land as well. Burning Agony has been popped. And Dyrus is on the run, but he has to back away. He is under tower aggro, and the Ignite is ticking down. But I think Dyrus will be okay. Yes, he will. But another close, close call there. Dedreon just camped that top lane with Kevin and forcing Dyrus to go back once again. And look at bot lane's tower. 65 HP right there. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I mean, all Ash needs to do right now is push once again and dominate that lane and get that tower down. Although Nocturne has popped his armor, where is he going towards? Don't actually see that there. He did actually go towards top lane. Apologies, Jax did over push and uh, he was able to gift that kill. Dyrus wasn't even there, so uh, uh, Odd One looking very, very strong at the moment. 3 and 0. Oriana is going to put Ari under a bit of pressure, but Ari is going to chase. Ignite has been popped. Oh, um, as well. J.R. Park has to. Flash away, but Ocelot with that armor is just going to come in, but Dyrus is coming in for the redeem kill. Ocelot has no mana whatsoever, but he has just leveled up, giving him a bit more mana. Dyrus did miss that cleaver as well, so the uh, slow will not be popped, and Ocelot will run away, but a very nice armor from Odd One once again. That's three kills to two, and a nice play from Ocelot in that mid. And, you know, Odd One already has Riggle's Lantern, NC. That is scary stuff for him. Really, with Nocturne raining down with that paranoia out of nowhere with his ulti, the amount of damage that he's going to be able to put out will be incredible, and of course that's only going to get better and better as the game goes on. So definitely one to watch out for. Uh, as you saw before, Ari did manage to pick up that kill onto Orianna. Orianna went back, built up the Sorcerer's Shoe, she has a Doran's Ring, and also a couple wards with a couple pots as well. So Ari is looking pretty strong in that mid. Yep, and Kevin is going to chase down Dyrus once again, land that stun, but Dyrus is just going to go back. The help has been popped from both players right now, as Dyrus is uh, under heavy, heavy harass here. Jack's looking very strong, which is, of course, Kevin, and uh, and Odd One is going to farm them walls up, is going to cross uh, cross now. But uh, I think, you know, Chaos and Expecial need a bit of help at that bot lane. I mean, you've got Ash on 74, Urgot uh, on 57. Maybe just a gank from Odd One. I mean, he's looking very, very strong at the moment. Could probably put off a successful gank, no problem, if he pops his ultimate at the right time. Uh, Ari is doing a good job in mid as well, as uh, she is currently on 74. Creeps to Oriana 63, so the creep score is getting won by SK at the moment. Top lane, actually, Dyrus on 56, Kevin on 58, so, you know, it's a bit more even at top lane, but mid and bot lane both getting one from SK but the jungle definitely getting one from Odd One. Odd One is there in that tri bush ready to pop the armor off at any time needed. Kevin is pushed as well and here we go. Is Odd One going to pop his armor any time soon? He is waiting there for the right time as Kevin looked to maybe be going down but Odd One has got that ward in the bush so he does see vision 
and they are just waiting for the right time to pop this off. I've seen this so many times from TSM, and it's worked to perfection if Kevin is just a bit out of position here. Odd one is just waiting at that tower, maybe for the creeps to get pushed back, and he is going to go under uh, heavy attack here from Dyrus, and there's the armor from Odd one as well. Beautiful fear, and Dyrus will finish it off. Brilliant top lane gank as well from Odd one once again, three and zero and one. Already got that Riggles. Bot lane did go down as well. X Special looks to be biting the dust from Ari, who came down from mid. So not looking good at the moment for TSM. And now Oriana is going to chase down Mundo with Odd One there taking point. But they are just going to try and get this tower down. Ari, Soraka, and Candy Panda on their way towards mid. Although they are just going to go for this dragon right now. No problem whatsoever. So it's going to be probably a mid tower for a dragon. SK with all four players circulating around that dragon. That is definitely going to be a dragon. And uh, I don't actually think, yeah, they should be able to get this mid tower unless maybe Ash pops off an arrow. But uh, I don't think it's going to happen yet. The mid tower didn't even go down and uh, dragon did. So really nice stuff coming out from SK right there. Indeed, and NT, what what, do you, what are your thoughts about this? You know, a lot of players will want to take those towers down as soon as possible, and some like to keep them up, so basically the minions push an equal distance, and uh, basically can, can continue to farm. What's your take on it? Would you prefer to take down a tower early, or just leave it up and, and try and capitalize on that farm? Well, at the moment, you know, Ari is winning that mid lane, so it would have definitely been good, you know, Park to relieve a bit of pressure, and being able to, you know, kind of roam about a little bit, get out of lane. But the charm has been popped from Ari, don't think it's anything's going to come of it. But, uh, you know, it, it really just depends on how your lane's going. Personally, if I'm losing the lane, I'd love to get that tower down, so I can just, you know, put the pressure off me and help the other lanes and try and pick up a few kills of my own. But, you know, if I'm winning the lane, then you kind of want it to just stay up, because you can keep just dominating the lane, getting uh, the creep advantage as well, and all that good stuff. So I think it would have been nice for them to get mid down. It's literally on no HP, so I mean, one person could go up there and just hit it. But, you know, Dragon has gone down, and Candy Panda, I think, having to flash away there at bot lane, did actually miss that. Yeah, she did just burn her flash, so obviously Chaos putting her under a little bit of pressure. Odd One was there as well, as Kevin is coming under a bit of pressure at top lane as well from Dyrus. Dyrus has got that one kill now, evened out with Jax, although Jax is actually on one to three. <laughs> didn't actually realize that he died three times. Um, a bit surprising that. Yeah, I mean, Nocturne has definitely yeah. been kind of focusing that top lane. You can see that Olaf has a kill and an assist, which of course is uh, going to be completely focused on that Jax towards solo top. But, you know, the creep score starting to escalate out of control, and Olaf's favor was very, very even. In fact, I think Kevin had the upper hand for a while, but now you can see that Olaf has 88 and Jax on 77. You can definitely see, though, that Jax is kind of mindful of that. Uh, paranoia coming in with Nocturne, so not overextending as much as perhaps he would have before that level 6. Absolutely, and I think four players actually around here at top lane trying to get this kill on towards Dyrus here. Uh, Candy Panda obviously thinking it was in the bush, but uh, Dedran did just see Dyrus under the tower, so they're very, very, um, very, very content on uh, getting this turret. I just realized it says mid turret has gone down now, but I'm just gonna talk about that afterwards as Darius is gonna chase all four players on his own. Odd one is there just for the support as well. And uh, you know SK have to be really careful here. Darius has to be careful as well. I mean four players but the damage coming out. The armor has been burnt from Mundo. Now they are gonna go this tower but I but odd one is there he's gonna come out pop that fear. This is definitely gonna be a kill surely on Candy Panda but no the heal has been popped the arrow as well. Darius the ignite ticket down Kevin if he can land a jump on towards Darius but Darius with a beautiful slow and here comes Ari Ocelot on point but X Special with a beautiful ultimate there to just blow Park out of the way but Park was very content on maybe trying to save X Special but X Special was no like just get the hell out of there the blue is going to go towards SK there is still five kills to four Park is going to run off as well. Odd one as well as Chaos is bot lane. So Chaos wasn't even in that fight. So, you know, really that kind of favors TSM. You know, they were kind of 4v5 there, and they still did an alright job at picking up a couple kills. True, but I think. Sorry, say again? I think they picked up a kill, right? It was one did. for one. It was one for an exchange, yeah. but I think SK are going to be relatively happy there because they managed to pick up that top tower. They also stole the blue as well. So I think SK would be slightly happier. Nice attempt from TSM, but unfortunately SK were just kind of moving all together as a unit. And that TSM kind of seemed bit by bit. You did see Oriana come in at the end, land a shockwave, but by that time, you know, uh, Janna was pretty much gone dead and buried, the top lane was already down as well, it's kind of too little too late. So yeah, I think SK will be slightly happier with that uh, that exchange there at the top. 
Yeah, that was some sick healing going on from Soraka right there to keep Candy Panda alive. Otherwise, he would have definitely gone down. I mean, about, I think it was three heals popped in Candy Panda just to save her. So, uh, really nice stuff coming out from Soraka, which is obviously Nif. Um, but yeah, I, I did just mention this. Apparently, it says mid tower down now. I, I haven't actually played today after that little patch. That, that's pretty cool. That That's pretty cool. I think it says mid tower's down. I don't have the sound on, dude. Is Is that... The announcer saying it, or is it pop up on the yeah, screen? Yeah, the announcer. The announcer said, oh, Tower okay. is down. I'm watching Destroyed. this stream alongside you guys, so I have it muted so I don't hear myself or NZ twice, so I, I didn't actually catch that one, but yeah, nice addition nonetheless. Absolutely, randomness has now gone. Darius is going to go back towards top lane as Kevin is going to come down towards mid. Park is currently on 120 creeps to Ares 134, so keeping up just about. And Ash is coming out from bot lane. Could maybe land an arrow here on towards Oriana. X specials there, or maybe the support as well, just if needed. But well, they are just pinging away as they do see Odd One going towards and warding that bush. And uh, he is going to back away now, back towards the golems area. Pings are going away. They do see Ocelot, Kevin, and Nif in that bush, obviously because of the ward. They have pinged out though, so I do think that they know that ward is there. Ash's bot lane as well, just getting that farm near the tower. The tower did actually fall relatively early. Uh, SK did decide to take that one out very, very early against TSM. As uh, Darius is just going to get this uh, creep in mid. And I think we could see a team fight very shortly. I mean, both teams are kind of circling in around the same area. I do actually think Dragon is up very shortly. I mean, SK are in position right now. They have all five players at this bot lane. This is definitely just a timer on Dragon. And I don't even think TSM realized at the actual time they were doing it what was going down. So I don't think they're going to have that timer. But they are going to try and push that lane as Ocelot is going to try and push it back. But they're definitely going to see that Dragon is up right now. TSM actually there first. Ward is in this bush. Ward has been placed in that bush as well from Odd One. As the uh, arrows do come out from Ash right now. This is going to be a 5v5 fight if it does kick off. The flash actually popped from Chaos. Beautiful switch. Nip is going to get focused. But the heals are coming out, and she is going to survive, but she is going to actually die. Arrow comes out as well. Olaf going to dodge that one. Ocelot has popped the armor to try and get away. Ignite has been popped. Darius is going to go down very early. Odd One is getting focused right now. Has to flash away, but the jump from Jax. Double kill from Jax right there. Kevin is going to go on towards Chaos, but the shield on Chaos is going to save him just for the second. Jax is going to go down, but Urgot will follow suit, and Park looks to be dropping as well. There's the ace for SK. Ocelot and Candy Panda, the last two remaining on the map so far, and Soraka has just respawned. They are going to try and get this dragon. It has to be careful, though, because both Candy Panda and Ocelot are very, very low. This is going to be hilarious if Candy Panda drops right now, and I think he is. Oh my god, epic. Epic. <laughs> Well, I think, you know, it was, it was worth it, really, in the end. You know, obviously, the global goal for his team, no one gets accredited with the kill in the opposition. So, kind of humiliating in one instance, but he took one for the team, trying to take down that dragon with Ocelot, of course. And the important thing is that they did actually manage to pick it up. But going back to that team fight, Enzi, I'm just going to say, damn, Kevin, you good. You're an absolute beast. He picked up three kills, landed two or three counter strikes as well, did such a phenomenal job for his team in winning that team fight. Really an unsung hero for SK. Such a strong player. Absolutely, he has got that 4 and 4 now here, it was on 1 to 3 before that fight I do believe, so he is going to even up his score, 4 to 4 to 3, has got the Hextech Gunblade and the Doran's Blade, and on top of that has got the Merc Treads and a Sight Ward to go along with that, and uh, they are just going to go back top lane, Darius is going to get this farm, what has Darius got, he has got that Spirit for Charge, Kindle Gem, Heart of Gold, and uh, some Merc Treads. As uh, Chaos is going to be in the mid, just getting this farm as well. But, uh, you know, that was a great, great fight from SK right there. Beautiful job right there from Kevin. And uh, I'm not really sure what went wrong for TSM. I just think Kevin just played absolutely superbly in that team fight. The blue is going to get got right now for Park. But I'm, I'm going to just mention this right off the bat. Comparing Park's play and kind of how he did compared to, you know, Bergson when he mixed in, Bergson was doing such a phenomenal job. Whether it's because, you know, they're up against a team like SK now and, you know, Park hasn't played with them before, you always have to put that in consideration. But, you know, maybe it's just the Oriana pick. She doesn't seem to be doing all that much. She kind of just seems to be in the shadow right now. Well, 
I, I absolutely love Oriana as a champion, and I've said this to you before, Andy, so I'm sure you already knew that. But I don't know, JY Park's kind of positioning doesn't seem to be too great. His shockwaves aren't really turning the tide of a battle as you'd expect an Oriana to do, and I think that's kind of his downfall at the moment. Maybe a, a, a few nerves, maybe he's not used to playing with TSM. There's a lot of p potential factors that kind of come into this, but the end result is his team are only one kill behind. There's only about 2k gold, if that, in this game, so it's by no means over. He has plenty of time to come back in League of Legends. That's one of the beauties of this game. You can turn it around. Absolutely. That's exactly what I hope to see from Park. You know, just get straight in there and get back into that game. He is currently 0-2, to two, but, you know, that isn't too far behind. Uh, Mundo's on 0-2 to two as well, so, I mean, uh, both players can, you know, both get kills back. Just depends on the team fight and the outcome, but it looks like both teams are done getting their buffs right now. Mundo is just going to finish them golems as Kevin is going to push that top lane. TSM could possibly go for a cheeky cheeky engage here. I mean you've got Kevin top, they do see that Dedrian isn't with the pack in mid and Ocelot has to be careful. There's the slow, this could be Ocelot dead. Yes it's got to be as Chaos is going to land the switch but Ocelot with that oh, the odd one but a beautiful charm there and Ocelot might just flash over that wall. No, hasn't got the flash up and despite a Soraka heal to try and save him Ocelot is going to get caught out in mid. Darius is going to get the kill. That's going to allow them to push that mid lane. Maybe even go for a cheeky Baron. You know, it's always on the cards. But I think they might just go the safe route. Although Darius is going towards that Baron right now. But uh, Odd One has back, so they're definitely not going to go for that one. Pings are going down, that award has gone there. But, you know, that's the kind of stuff you don't want after winning a team fight. Uh, you know, you don't want to get caught out. We saw this last uh, last night. TL got caught out, you know, a multitude of times, and that re they really paid the price for that one. Yeah, I really think that Ari's great defense and her biggest weakness is her maneuverability, because you kind of get it in the back of your mind, hey, look, I'm Ari, I will never be able to get caught, oh, wait, I'm dead. And that's kind of what happened there, that she, she was kind of just lurking around mid all by herself. Suddenly an Urgot swap is on the card. She very nearly did manage to escape. There was kind of a reminiscence there of the Udia great escape. <laughs> and I'm not sure if you're thinking of that yourself. But had the flash have been up, I'm sure she would have flashed through to that blue golem buff. And she could have actually been just fine. But you know, I think, you know, Ari just overextending, lurking around a bit too long. And unfortunately, Ocelot did get punished for that. But actually did manage to, uh, to use a lot of those cooldowns in the process. He did manage to use the swap coming out there from uh, Urgot, so not completely lost in that sense. Yeah, Chaos has already got that uh, that ultimate back up, you know, it's only got about a 78 second cooldown, and Ari has her ultimate as well. Odd Ones is on cooldown, but is going to be up very, very shortly, so they're going to be able to, to you know, gank away and uh, just try and catch the enemy team out. Anyway, both teams are going to be a standoff in mid, although Odd One is just going to get these Wolves X special, has got that Oracle now. It's going to be clearing out them walls. They are going to go towards Baron here. There's actually no ward coverage whatsoever from SK, so they're definitely going to be curious on what's going on right here. But uh, it looks like TSM are just going to back away. They could have maybe tried and set up a trap. They know there's no wards in these bushes right now. And here come SK on the attack here. As they do put that ward down in that bush. They are just going to back away back to mid. And, uh, you know, if if Mundo actually crossed there, Chaos could have tried a cheeky switch. But, I mean, the whole team is there. And uh, there we go. The Ash Arrow actually missing Chaos right there. So TSM no. There is no ultimate on Ash right there. That was kind of a fail, but Chaos was just quicker thinking, just kind of dodged that one. And now SK have to be very careful. It was a valiant attempt, to say the least. You know, I know exactly what it was. You know, you could kind of tell what they were trying to do there. Perfect engage for opportunity, but it wasn't popped off. So I think they're going to go defensive, but SK could possibly go for a Baron now because uh, TSM are around this dragon area. But uh, are there any wards to uh, see the positioning of SK? If they do go towards the Baron, they are going to see it. If they go towards that bush, TSM just waiting around this dragon right now. And it spawned exactly when they got there. And this should be an easy, easy dragon right now. SK aren't even going to contest this one. It's going to fall like a fly. And now all five players are going to go back together towards mid. They do see Ash from that ward. So they are pinging away on towards Ash. But here they are. They're actually going to chase Candy Panda right here. As the flag comes up from Chaos, there's the switch, beautiful play, but Candy Panda is going to flash over the wall, but the fear is going to be landed on towards Candy Panda, he is going to go down, 
as Ash is going to fall very, very early. Dyrus is going to claim the kill. That was absolutely incredible play from Chaox once again with that switch, landing it to perfection after the flash over the wall. Great thinking from TSM, great team play all together, and perfect execution, and also to Odd One as well, popping that fear off. Otherwise, you know, Ash would have got away. But, you know, Ash did try and flash over the wall. Um... But uh, it wasn't enough for that fear from Odd One. So great, great stuff coming out from TSM once again. Just catching SK out and backing away and waiting for their cooldowns to come up. Getting the buffs and, you know, just slowly and slowly getting that gold up and up. Yeah, I mean, I must admit, Enzi, early game, not sure if you would agree with this. But, you know, Ash was completely bossing that bot lane. Absolutely bossing it. And I was starting to think, oh, God, okay, can you come back from this? Answer resounding yes. In these kind of team fight situations, it's really where Urgot comes into his own. That swap can really make the difference. They saw him just picking off the player and uh, giving his team the advantage once again on the uh, the kills. But as you can see there, they are still behind slightly on the gold. And that's purely down to the basis that currently SK have three towers down and TSM have only taken down one. And one more comment as well, NZ. That Jack skin looks remarkably like the Spearmaster from Bloodline Champions. Just saying. Don't mention Bloodline Champions in a LoL game. <laughs> that game is it's so, so bad. It's so similar. It's ridiculous. It's like the exact same textures and everything. <sighs> I'm just going to carry on with the game. I hate that game. I ain't even played the game. I downloaded the game. Why did I even download the game? I'm going to stop raging and I'm going to carry on. They have actually pinged away on towards Chaos. They're Candy Panda with that ping off and... Uh, they are maybe going to go for this invade. They are picking away in the bush. Maybe want to, you know, get across there. They have got the Oracle, but the Ash Arrow misses again. None of TSM did get caught out, but Chaos is going to go diving in head first there. Nip is going to get focused down, but Dyrus is going to draw his attention to Candy Panda. Chaos is going to go down early on, though. Dyrus is going to follow. Ocelot is going to claim the kill, and Odd One is going to fall as well. Surely, despite the attempt from X Special to monsoon them away, the flash did come in, and the path was completely messed up. But Ocelot right there ran straight into a minion and was like, I, I don't want to run back towards my tower, but you're going to run back towards your tower because Parfing says so. And uh, he wasn't able to uh, land the charm on towards JY Park there, but they are going to go towards this Baron right now. There is no wards from TSM, so they have no vision whatsoever as uh, Chaos is going to be respawning in five. I think this should be an easy, easy Baron for SK right now. And, you know, I I kind of am doubting the positioning from Chaos right there. I mean, he kind of went straight in as an AD carry. The Ash Arrow missed as well. You know, I can only guess it was a minor mistake. But still, there's only one kill in it, although the Baron buff has now been released, and it's on SK. Yeah, I think maybe the, the, the feeling behind Urgot is he is one of the tankier, if not the tankiest AD carry out there. Purely on the basis that he has a Glacial Shroud, he has a Doran's uh, Blades as well, and the Hex Drinker. But yeah, he was kind of caught with his pants down there and uh, got punished. That was a 3 for 1 exchange. So before and that was 10 9 TSM were leading. They're now behind 12 11. And it just seems to me that they can't really stand toe to toe with SK right now. SK are just much more tankier, put down a lot more damage. You're now going to have Jax with the Zeal, he has the Gun Blade finished the phage more than likely going to be building towards that trinity force and he is going to be a real badass in this game absolutely i think you know just to miss uh, positioning i can definitely see you know where chaos was coming from you know he's very tanky ad carry but at the moment uh he's only got about 1.7k hp you could say okay we're nearly 30, 30 minutes and that's nothing but kevin is very tanky now you know he's got that zeal now he's got the hex blade as well um he's got that phage he's got the extra hp 2.6k um, but you know, I think it was just a mistake and uh, you know, they're only one kill down still, but they have to be very careful now not to get caught out because that can cost them the game. It's 12 for 211, one kill in it, 43k to 38k and you know, TSM are forced to just turtle this one out for now. But uh, you know, I'm going to mention again, it kind of seems that Oriana isn't really doing much in any of them team fights. Where you see Ocelot on the opposite team doing absolutely so much, you know, ultimating in, landing the charm when needed as well, and the Orb of Deception, and the uh, Foxfire when needed. So, you know, Ocelot, you know, just as that AP carry right there, as Ari is doing so much more damage, helping the team out so, so much more. But uh, it looks like they are going to push mid now. Um, I think they're definitely strong enough to... Uh, Maybe go for the tower dive, but I think it's all going to depend on this Ash Arrow right now. I mean, you've got Ocelot trying to spam them charms in as Candy Pan is going to get focused down here. But it uh, isn't going to fall, but it's going to all be about the arrow as Kaox's Oamir. Was that Kaox? Yes, it was. I think it just failed there.
And uh, no. Ash did get away. I think I think Ash used Quicksilver Sash. Did she have that? Yeah, that first uh, item. Yeah, yeah, she did. Oh, sorry. She about popped that. it as soon as as soon as the swap came in. Sorry, because I can't quite see the stream. I didn't want to be certain there, but yeah, she has a Quicksilver Sash. And as soon as he popped the switch, you just saw her press the button, and she was instantly out. Really good item for her in this team comp. Indeed, the actual arrow is going to come out now from Ash. Chaos is going to fall very, very quickly. Although he's going to flash over the wall, beautiful heal, summon a heal. But X Special is going to fight the dust after saving the team. But Ocelot is going to dodge, just go straight over right there. Double kill coming out from Ash. Darius is going to get chased out, although he has got that ghost pop, so he's going to try and get away. Kevin is going to try the down dive. The ignite is taken down, and Darius just gets in towards the fountain. Just on time as Ocelot will take that tower down, but beautiful play, Ramboing Ocelot right there. Ultimate straight over the wall, landing that charm and doing great, great damage. Ash was there to pick up the kill, and SK are slowly but surely getting stronger, stronger, and stronger, building the advantage even more. This is going to be another dragon for SK right now. Despite TSM getting the last two, they still have Baron buff, although that is definitely going to expire very, very shortly. So great play from SK, and like I said, you know, the, the real reason I think SK are winning right now, if TSM had a different champion in mid, I'm not saying a different player, just a different champion, I think they'd be dealing so much more damage and I think it'd just be so much useful, you know, Oriana, she's a good champion, but she doesn't deal as much damage as the likes of an Ari just coming in and completely nuking, uh, trying to nuke the enemy team down. So I think maybe Oriana wasn't the right pick in the circumstance. I think they were kind of depending on the Ari pick, not completely certain. I definitely did overhear them kind of saying, okay, maybe let's go for an Ari pick. They actually had their, their like, their sound. Like on like unmuted. I think that might have been a mistake, or they might just been uh, Baylife now, as they like to say. But uh, you know, it's 14 kills to 11, 9k down. TSM can get can get back into this game, but after that, it's kind of hard to see them get back into the game, especially as Oriana's on zero to three and isn't dealing all that much for her team. Well, I mean, it's a difficult one to call Enzi because, you know, Urgot isn't really... He does do a fair chunk of damage, but he's he's definitely the kind of tankier AD in that sense. And Ash is just all out, especially mid to late game. Ash's damage is absolutely ridiculous, which we're seeing here. So when you have Urgot and Oriana on the same team, it's kind of difficult to see where that massive burst damage is going to come from, if you get what I mean. Because Oriana has a lot of utility, sure, she can even put a shield on one of her allies, but she's not really going to be doing the same kind of constant damage that an Ari will darting around the battlefield, landing the charms, and of course the Orb of Deception. Uh, especially when it's like those 5v5 fights, Enzi, Ari can put out so much damage in a short period of time. I don't think Oriana can really keep up with that right now. You can see it in the statistics, Oriana 037, Ari 419. Big, big difference that. Absolutely, and the charm actually hit on towards Odd One, but he is gonna get away. Very close call there, and Kevin is gonna come back towards his team right now. They could maybe go for a dive. But uh, they are just going to wait out. They're going to wait for these minions to push right now. They have got that in here down at mid. So all they need to do is push these lanes right now. Let the super minions do their job. SK looked very, very content on ending this game. You can definitely see why. I mean, TSM aren't down and out of this game. They can definitely come back in. But the question is how? Because right now SK are playing the right game. They're pushing that lane while the super minions do the job in mid. They're going to be able to split that team up and go for the tower dive. The charm did land there on towards Chaos. But uh, Chaos will come back. Odd One is going to clear their minions in mid right now. And of course, SK is just waiting around, just slowly poking away at that tower. Candy Panda doing the job there. And uh, I think they might actually just go for the tank right now. I think TSM did go back, but they have to be careful. Uh, the charm did just land on towards Chaos there, but the shield is going to get popped. Chaos will go back. I think he needs to, you know, he definitely needs to get his HP back. That's going to allow SK to go on here. But there's the arrow from Ash landing on towards Park. Kevin is going to focus it down, but Kevin is going to try. Uh, he's going to have to try and get away, but Park going to land the kill. Renegade, which is odd one, should be going down as the, oh my god, the orb from Ocelot. Too strong for odd one. Odd one's going to go down. Chaos. Just got charmed. There's the double kill from Ocelot. Incredible play. And one orb from Ocelot right there. He flashed away and used the orb at the same time. It was just like Matrix stuff right there. 
as uh, the arrow did catch out Pug, but Pug would manage to get the kill, but one of the turrets next to the Nexus has gone down, Darius has to be very careful here, as they are focusing on towards him, this is going to be a 4v3 if they do tend to engage, especially with the support as well, so they haven't got huge damage coming out, but Ash's damage looking very, very strong, they are going to try and finish this one out, I think this is definitely going to be the GG, well played for game number one, TSM against SK, SK will win game number one, in a very, very confident late game finish. Incredible stuff from SK with them team fights. Yeah, I honestly think the TSM kind of shot themselves in the foot in that in that lineup right from the very beginning. I mean, on paper it could potentially work with the Urgot of bot lane, AD carrying an Oriana in mid, but they had to have those team fights and positioning absolutely down to the the point. And that wasn't the case, Enzi. We said a couple of times, you know, Kex is in quite a precarious position, he got punished for it, and of course once Kex is down, that's a huge chunk of the damage, a lot of the tankiness as well out of the lineup, which basically gave SK the Baron and from there on in it was pretty much just clear sailing so definitely deserved win in that first game Enzi and I can pretty much go on a limb here and say we're not going to see Oriana from TSM again in the second game. Yeah I don't think we're going to see that one and we might even see an Ari ban as well coming in but uh, guys we are waiting for an invite now for game number two TSM against SK we are going to quickly go for a break so don't go anywhere game number two is right around the corner TSM SK Corsair Vengeance Cup live on Chaos TV do not go anywhere again. <laughs> 